I was really bummed that um she didn't end up the best. Hello everyone, it's Mia X Canadensis, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing review of Pacific Coast Bella Parker. You guys voted and picked to see her open first, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and don't worry, the others are coming as well. And I found her at Target yesterday, and I'm really, really excited because Series 2 Bella never really left much of an impact on me, but I like the character in the show, so I was really hoping we'd get another Bella doll, and we did! And I'm really excited about this particular doll. Like, I think she was really well done, but we'll have to see fully once I unbox her. And here's the rest of Pacific Coast. So it's actually like a full core set of dolls. So you get six dolls and then Bella. So um, she doesn't disrupt anything in their group, which is very interesting. And yeah so first we're going to be looking at her box up close and i'm going to flip the camera around so that you guys can see here is what bella's packaging looks like and i have to say that i really enjoy the packaging design for these they managed to fit quite a bit in the size of box that they're using and then also it's really eye-catching from far away as soon as you see a pacific coast doll you know and i think that's really really good for package presentation and that's a very important part of selling dolls. It says Pacific Coast over here, Bella Parker, and it does say Series 1, implying that this is Series 1 of Pacific Coast. We'll see, though. The Rainbow High has been using the term Series 1 a lot lately. And then this side of the box has this really pretty palm tree design that does fold over, and then it has some what are probably seagulls, and it, that's the trunk of the tree. It continues all the way down. And then the back of the box has this beautiful art of the characters, and mine is probably not doing the art justice. I think this is such gorgeous art, and the characters look so good all together. And it is reflective like all the other Rainbow High boxes, so you get different colors when you move it around. And at the bottom it says, Meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine art school on the West Coast. Here the days are sunny, classes are poolside, and the drama rolls in and out like the tides. I'm really curious to see what classes are poolside means um because i need to go to that school if that's if that's actually the case and then of course bella is an art direction focus according to the box but notice how she has the pacific coast high emblem here does she study abroad does she get kicked out of rainbow high again what's the deal i don't know we will see all right now i'm gonna get her out of the box and show her to you bella the fully unboxed and i really love her she looks phenomenal my one disappointment is that i was really really excited about her curls i thought they were going to be so bouncy and soft but unfortunately they're really really crunchy uh which i understand but i thought mj was overusing the gel and they didn't use it in series three so i'm not really sure why they brought it back but um it's no big deal so we're gonna be washing out her hair in another video i just really wanted to keep these ringlets because they're so beautiful um but they are quite crunchy unfortunately to start off with this review i really want to show you a close-up of her face because her face is so pretty I really love the glitter on the under eye. Mine's a little bit uneven, but I thought maybe I could just remove some of this and it would be more even, or I could just add more. I'm not really sure. There's a lot of things to look out for misplacement wise. For example, my little white lines on the eyebrows are misplaced. I don't really care much about that at all, to be honest. The biggest thing I look for is that the inner corner matches on both sides. I think that's really important to the overall look of the doll. This one's makeup is really, really pretty. It has a lot of like blended fading features and I don't know I just think it's really it's not necessarily simple but compared to some rainbow high looks it's pretty simple and I think it looks really beautiful um it's actually deceptively simple to be honest because it has so much going on actually and I love the lip color too it's really really in your face and I think it really brings the look together it's gorgeous gorgeous and I think the basket weave hat is probably my favorite piece. It's really like a floppy basket weave fabric hat, and I really wasn't expecting that. It also has Rainbow High embroidered into it, which my theory right now for the show, or how this ties in, is that this is probably like a going away present. Either she's studying abroad, or maybe she's just fully moving to this school, but she gets this as a gift from the friends. That's my theory. I have no way of knowing if that's valid or not. I just, it's a fan speculating. And I really love the little bow too. This is such a nice piece. I've never seen an actually basket weave doll hat before. And I know, well, other than an American girl, and I know they exist. It's just like in regular play line and in the amount of dolls that I have, I have never seen it. So that's all I mean by that. I don't mean that it doesn't exist. Moving down, we can look at her beautiful outfit. And it's just, it's overall a decently simple one. It's just a one piece swimsuit and this sarong it is really nice though it's just when this is the only 
stuff that she comes with. You don't get a lot of new options for styling her, but that's okay. So her swimsuit looks like this. It has this golden chain thing around the waist. I'm not the biggest fan of that, to be honest. It's cute, but it's not my favorite. And it has the R's here. It says Rainbow Paris, has that same logo. And then it's a split down the middle, black and pink. And the um, that is all continued on to the back, except that there's no text on the back, of course. The fit of the swimsuit is really well done too. Like it perfectly covers the joints and I think it's really nice. And then the sarong piece, like you just saw me do, attaches with Velcro and she can wear it like midway like this, but I prefer it off to the side, which is how she came packaged. So I imagine that's the intention. And one big issue with this piece, and this isn't really their fault, this happens with most Rainbow High things just because of the shape of their body. It wants to go up here instead of staying at the hip. Um, so you kind of have to watch that. If I was out taking pictures, that would drive me crazy, but that's not really a design flaw. That's just how Rainbow High Dolls are. And it says Rainbow all over it. It's the same brand as this, so she's not like brand mixing. And I really like the material they used. They didn't hem it, but I believe it's like chiffon or something. I don't know the exact name of that material, but you don't really need to hem it necessarily. And then if we move all the way down, we can see her slides. So I really love that on the side of the sole, they have text on them. So they say rainbow in really, really tiny text all over the edges. And then the actual insole is just pink and it has a pink strap with some like golden chain linking things with like wrapping the strap. And I think it looks really good. Really, really beautiful doll. And that's it for the overview of the doll in this form. She also comes with, of course, a comb and a stand. It always perplexed me that her comb and stand are so violently not her color. <laughs> Next, we're gonna be unboxing her extra accessories. I'm gonna show you how to put the extra legs that she comes with on. And just so you know, she comes with these because even though she doesn't come with extra shoes, um, MGA thought ahead and wanted to make sure you could put her in other outfits that include the heeled shoes, which I think is pretty nice of them. I do wish they came with heeled shoes though. That would make these make more sense. And then also we're going to be doing a little comparison of her and the other Bella. So I will hey see you guys. We're then. back and here's Bella in her sunglasses. I know what they were going for and I've seen the glasses in real life before. They're not my favorite look, but they are certainly distinctive. And I've heard a lot of people really excited about these and Brett told me he liked them. So um, just because I don't like them doesn't mean they can't be interesting or be cute to other people. They're just not my thing. I'm not really into like super circular lenses. Anyways, she also comes with this bag, which is perfectly her color. It's kind of weird though, because they use a pink, lots of pinks that aren't like her color throughout the outfit. But anyway, it says rainbow. It has an RH logo in the middle and it, that's all embroidered on. And then the straps are, I think Hallie's were like this too, actually. It's just a really cute trim. It comes with this thing inside, which I recommend you keep because it just keeps it looking full even though it's not and it also has these little i think these are either like a plastic or some kind of pleather they're they gotta be plastic but they're really pliable so i don't know but it has these little mini straps and these ones and she oh by the way she has oh my gosh what she has french tips how did they do that get my nasty nails out of there look wow she has french tips guys what Anyways, those French tips can hold this bag, and it's a very cute bag. And then um, the same thing I was complaining about a second ago, apply oh, and uh, I wanted to say the arms or whatever of the glasses don't have any design on them. The same thing I was complaining about with the color applies here because this pink is kind of, I don't know, it matches with none of the other pinks. It's kind of a um, across the board rainbow high problem. Some characters get it worse than others. And Bella to me has always kind of had this issue with her original doll too, where the colors in her hair or of her actual official color scheme really don't end up on her accessories much. But regardless, this is a really, really cute piece. It has that same gold chain around ribbon trim. It has like rainbow here on this little like label thing uh, they're called it's a specific type of bracelet that that looks like I forgot it's fine though you can see it and then there's these little seal things on the corners and in the middles and then it says rainbow rr and it matches the brand that she's mostly 100 percent wearing which is pretty cool i think it's chanel but i didn't want to be wrong but i guess i'll just try it and if i'm wrong i'm wrong and then the back of the towel is you know, towel materials so she can actually dry off. And this towel is huge, by the way. I'm gonna lay it down and put her on it just to, just to show you the scale. 
It's huge. It's not fully her size, but that's better than any doll towel that I have ever had experience with. All right, now for the horrifying part, I'm gonna show you the extra legs feature. So you can't put them on the wrong leg because they have the special shape inside and they say R and L, but even if you didn't read the R and L or if you got the lefts and rights wrong, you couldn't get it wrong because of the shape. All right, so we're gonna take this leg off and you really just pull uh, and it, it's really hard the first time actually, uh, at least it was for me and with Hallie. And then there you go. So you see it says R inside and then the shape Whereas with the left leg, it's the opposite. So you can't really get it wrong. <laughs> and then you can put the heel, foot. Yeah, this is still the right one, yeah. I've lost the shoe, <laughs> it's okay. Um, sorry, kind of hard to do the angle I'm at. You just push it in and it's scary the first couple of times, especially because it's tight and doesn't want to go in there. And then it's like, all right, All right, right the now. new leg is in. That was a lot more difficult than with Hallie. Uh, it's probably doll to doll. I feel like for a kid, this would be so obnoxious, but at least it means they're not just flying across the room like Project Empty Square Doll's legs do. Um, would you rather have it a little bit tighter than it needs to be or a little bit looser than it needs to be? I would pick tighter. Anyways, this is what they look like. And I chose to put the slides on them so I could sh demonstrate something because a lot of people are upset about coming with second legs instead of doing ankle articulation, they think that MGA is being cheap. First of all, it is definitely more expensive to have to create an entirely new... Seriously! All right, so that was a lot more difficult than last time. I think um, it's probably just doll to doll. Some of them might be tighter than others, but wow, that was really, really difficult. Um, and it did work though. And if you guys are familiar with Project MC Squared, their legs come off too. I don't think they're supposed to come off, but they come off way too easily. It's like you're just playing with your doll and it flies across the room. So honestly, I prefer them to be a little bit tighter than they need to be rather than this. But anyways, that aside, this is what they look like. I chose to put the slides on so I could demonstrate something because a lot of people were saying MGA was being lazy by not doing ankle articulation. Usually I would be very inclined to agree, and you are of course entitled to your own opinion about the ankle articulation and whether you would prefer it to having the extra legs. I do think the extra legs are weird, and they're definitely going to be really difficult for children, and they were even difficult for me, and um, people with um, less dexterity that have a difficult time with their hands. This is going to be really, really challenging for her. I think the reason they did it is because short of putting a joint in the foot, which they're not going to do, there's no way it would break in the shoes, it would not work on a doll. The arch on the foot would make this look really silly. See what I mean? So the fit from the front and the side is a lot better with the flat foot. So it is very cumbersome, and I hope that if they continue to do this in the future that they come up with a better solution for this. But I understand where they're, like what they were going for here. It's, it's not lost on me. Alrighty, and the last thing we're going to be doing is bringing in the original Bella doll. Pacific Coast Bella next to the original first release of Series 2 Bella. There might be differences between my Series 2 Bella and other ones. It's just because I got her right when she came out. So generally the absolute first release dolls that come out day one look pretty different from the later ones. Mine is probably one of my least favorite Rainbow High dolls and I hate to say that, but it's mostly because of her shine on her face. It really, really bugs me. It's even more bothersome to me than a lot of the series one dolls. So the biggest difference between these two dolls is of course that shine on their face. And the reason this Bella looks shorter is because she has her flat feet on right now. She can be the exact same height if I just would put these on. Their hair is also the same color. This hair is just gelled so it looks different. If we look at the parts that aren't gelled, they're the same color. So um, it's not that this new doll has warmer hair than the original Bella doll. The makeup screening style is also very, very different, and the eyebrows are a lot better too. So mine actually has messed up eyebrows. You can see that the white pieces are like under the eyebrows, but other than that, you can see that these are much more faded and more of a kind of a chestnut color, and these are more of just a true brown. And then the makeup style is distinctly different. It's really, really nice. I really prefer this one. And the lip color is very different too. This has more of a pink tinge to it, and this is more of a cherry red. And this Bella has very little blushing on her cheeks, while this one is quite a quite a lot. And the shine on the face is so, so different. This doll just looks so much better in my opinion. Because I really love Bella and I was really bummed that she didn't end up being one of the best in series two because she is such a cool character and her design in theory is really cool. I really love her outfits especially. Oh, are her ears pierced? 
They are. They're piercing all the ears now for us, which is much appreciated. Oh, another huge, huge difference. The Spella can only move her head like this. As you can see, there's no up and down or side to side motion, while this one has really nice range of motion on the head. She can look down, she can look up, she can tilt her head. And of course she has that same side to side I'm having trouble with. There it is. So I think this, um, the later Rainbow High Dolls are, this is actually the perfect example, I think, of how the later Rainbow High Dolls compare to the newer ones. Sorry, the earlier Rainbow High Dolls compared to the later Rainbow High Dolls as of right now. This is a very shocking difference. This is one of the more extreme examples, but I think you can see my point here. That's it for this video. I would love to know what you guys think and what your favorite thing about this new Bella is, especially compared to this one. And again, no issue. My opinion should not affect yours if you really, really love this doll. This just personally for me, this doll did not hit it for me. But I do actually have a later release Bella. And I like that one a lot more. It's just that I took her eyes for a custom. So unfortunately, I couldn't show her in this video. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that Bella is being redeemed in this way, at least in my book, that she looks at this much better now. She's so pretty here, and all of the details that come with these dolls are really incredible. I know the price is quite high, but trust me, Rainbow High dolls almost never sell out before they clearance, so if you are dedicated to getting her for a lower price or a price that you think is more fair, just wait. Don't give in to the hype and get her early but i hope this review has helped you make an informed decision if you are interested in getting her or not um i also am pretty peeved at the price increase on pacific coast i do understand that these dolls are phenomenal they're really high quality and there's i think the main reason for the price hike it's i'm thinking it's temporary but i'm worried that mga is going to see that we're willing to pay it and keep it going because i think the explanation for the price increase and this is just me being as um nice i guess as possible just as lenient as possible is because of the supply chain issues i think shipping went up and that's the big thing but i think what they're gonna do is notice hey they're willing to pay it so even when the shipping crisis is gone why don't we leave the prices there and i hope that's not true but why wouldn't you do that as a company you know if you're selling the same amount at the more expensive price and you're making more money then why not um but that's just how like i feel about it i don't I don't have any information about what actually caused the price increase or not. I do really feel that Rainbow High dolls are the highest quality dolls on the market. There's a few, like LOL OMG and Rainbow High, highest quality dolls on the market for um, that you could find in Walmart by far. They're amazing. This basket weave hat is such a ridiculously nice accessory to include. It's shocking. And the way that they even cared about us being able to put the old shoes back on without um, having an ankle joint that wouldn't look good with the slides is just a testament to how attentive to detail and how much they, I, I don't want to say respect us as the consumers, but I also do want to say respect us as the consumers. I don't really know what to specifically call that. Um, but that's it for this video. Please let me know what you think. I would love to hear it and see you guys tomorrow for the next Rainbow High review. Bye!